and welcome to today's lesson, Dividing Fraction Models, No Remainders. Let's take a look at this problem, 2 divided by 1 third. In order to understand how to represent this with a model, we first need to understand what each part of this problem is representing. Taking a closer look, I see that the first number in my division problem is my dividend. A dividend is what I have, or what I start with. The second number in this division problem is my divisor. A divisor is how many groups of something I have. When I am doing a division problem, I'm going to be asking myself how many groups are in what I have. Let's take a closer look at that problem. So we already determined that the first number is my dividend and that's what I'm starting with. So I'm going to draw a model where I have two holes that represent my dividend. Next, I'm going to ask myself the question, how many groups are in what I have? So here the groups is going to be one-third. How many one-thirds are in two? In order to determine one-thirds, I first need to cut my hole into thirds. Now I'm ready to count my groups. I'm going to use circles to represent my groups here. So first I need to make sure that my hole is cut into the number that's in this denominator of my divisor. Then I'm looking for groups that are my numerator. Since this is a one, each one of these are going to be a group. So I'm just going to use a circle to represent that. So you can see that I have a total of six groups. So the question, how many one-thirds are in two? There are six groups of one-third inside two. Let's try another example. This time we have one and one-fifth divided by three-fifths. First, I'm going to draw my dividend, which is what I have, one and one-fifth. Next, I'm going to ask myself, how many groups are in what I have? My groups here would be three-fifths. So how many three-fifths are in one and one-fifth? Before I can start counting my three-fifths, I need to make sure that my holes are all in fifths. So I'm going to split this hole into fifths. Now that my hole is all in fifths, I can look at how many groups, which this top number is representing three in a group. And last time we used circles to show groups, this time we'll use brackets, but they mean the same thing. So notice that this bracket goes from here to here, and it is showing that I have a group of one, two, three. So I want to know how many groups of these three can I find in one and one fifth. Notice here that I only have room for another set of three. So how many three fifths are in one and one fifth? Two, because I was able to make exactly two groups here. Let's recap. When I'm dividing fractions with models, I will draw the dividend, which is my first number, then the denominator of the divisor, which is my second number, tells what the whole will be cut into, and the numerator of the divisor tells what should be in each group. That wraps up our lesson. Thanks so much for tuning in. Feel free to click to subscribe to watch this and other lessons. Until next time!